Welcome to episode 30 of the Alex Nunemaker Mortgage Podcast for the week of January 30th, 2023. In market news, we finally got some acknowledgement from the Fed yesterday on Wednesday that inflation news recently has been encouraging, which is better than what we've gotten from the Fed the last few months, where they've been tightening and tightening and tightening despite evidence that inflation is waning. So they've at least acknowledged finally that uh, inflation we might be turning the corner on. Now, here's where they do have a point. They still say that there's work to be done, and they like the fact that goods are coming down in price, but what they'd really like to see is home and shelter costs go down, and that is a big component of inflation, roughly 40%, and that's been pretty what they call sticky. So it's been sticking around, uh, not waning as fast, but that's also because it's a lagging statistic, meaning that the shelter cost component of inflation reports, that's usually lagging behind three months or so. So the numbers that are being reported on, even if it was for this month, are indicative of what's actually going on in real time. So in a few months, we're going to start to see you know, November, December, January numbers start to be reported in those, and then we're really going to be able to take, hopefully, a big chunk out of those inflation numbers. Again, great for interest rates. So here's the big takeaway. We're making progress. This is good news for interest rates, but it's not a seismic shift down. Rates are not going to drop in just one fell swoop as much as we would like to see that. It's going to come down inch by inch, report by report, month by month, and with a lot of caution from the Fed. What they don't want to do is loosen monetary policy before uh, you know, the job is done. So here's the other component to think about is that it might be a good thing that rates aren't dropping. So if rates were to suddenly drop by, say, a full 1%, the market is going to see all of a sudden a huge spike in demand. And there's just not enough inventory. So a balanced mark help, market helps keep us all sane. And there's still plenty of business out there if you're willing to work for it and to market yourself. In the mortgage corner, I want to take a moment and spotlight a underutilized renovation loan product, uh, the conventional home style loan. But Alex, I thought that the FHA 2 or 3K loan was the only option for a renovation. Nope, your clients can avoid FHA financing and renovate a home with a conventional loan. So it's no secret that turnkey homes are a hot commodity but not everybody can or wants to compete for a turnkey home. The answer to them is to buy a fixer upper without having to front the cost of those renovations, which would be a renovation loan. A lot of people are turned off from a renovation loan because they think that they have to do an FHA 2 or 3K because, you know, FHA's fees can be really high. They have mandatory monthly PMI, which can be in many cases higher than conventional if you have a high credit score borrower. But the big price is their upfront fee, 1.75%. That means that on a $400,000 loan, they're wrapping in $7,000 that they wouldn't have to do if they had instead opted for a conventional loan. So the answer to that is to just switch over to a conventional home style renovation loan. So it, it operates almost identical to an FHA 2 or 3K loan, requires a down payment of 5% and allows your client to renovate a property that's off the radar of other home buyers and avoid a costly FHA 2 or 3K loan and also avoid having to front the cost of all those renovations and said they can be taken care of by the loan. Finally, our quote of the week, the more I discipline myself to take notice of the good things in life, the more I began to recognize just how much there is to be thankful for. Uh, for. That's from Crystal Kuhn. Have a great week. If I can help you or any of your clients with any questions or pre-approvals, let me know. They can visit me at homeloanswithalex.com. Have a great week.